Another video here. My name is Bijan for anybody that is new. And in this video, we will be going over a quick little trade recap that I did on Apple today. It was about a $2,000 profit that we did here. And I'm going to just jump right into it, go over it on the uh, charts for you guys. Then we'll jump into it on the uh, orders, break it down there and wrap it up. Quick little video for you guys. Nothing too crazy. So on Apple, it was, first of all, it was a day trade, but it could have been a swing trade as well. Now, just a little disclaimer, as always, guys, I'm, if I make it seem like it's easy here or anything like that, please understand this stuff. It's, it's as they, what is it that they say? This is not financial advice. Um, um, this is the day trading. All kinds of trading is risky. So please don't just blindly jump into the stuff after just watching a few videos and getting excited and all of that. So um, that, that's that. Now, the first thing, like I was saying, is it was a day trade. So I was initially watching it from the watch list on the 150 area to see if we can get a dip to the 150 area. And I was watching it this morning and I honestly missed the trade. It gave the perfect entry and I missed it. Um, I wanted to try and see if maybe we can get like a secondary dip back down towards it, but it just kept going, kept going. And I said, all right, at that point, let me just let it go. At least for right now, maybe we'll start chopping throughout the day. I kind of felt like I missed the morning momentum of it. Um, and that, that's really pretty much it. I kind of like checked on it here and there, here and there. And I just let it go and I said, all right, if he ends up dipping back down to like the 150.50 area, I put an alert on uh, to let me know. That way I can maybe prepare and pull out my phone or whatever I needed to do to be able to enter the trade if it did approach the 150 area again. So that's exactly what it did is it came back down and it gave me a nice ding right here. And that's really where I got my eyes back on it. I was hoping to see if we could get a dip down to the 150 area, which unfortunately we didn't get that, but... Let me zoom in for you here. So uh, a little too much. Let's take it like that. There we go. So basically what ha happened was is I got into it half side. That's why you'll see a bunch of different lines here and all that. It's because these are where like all the orders are. But this main line right here is kind of like my average price, if you will. Uh, basically, once it started dipping back down to this area, this is where I started into the position just in case because I said, all right, he looks like he might start reversing here. Um, let me start in and in case he does go down to my 150 then I can add in and get get to a full-size position from there So that's exactly what I did and then he kind of started going up He started holding above that 151 area pretty well not really holding I wouldn't say but at least I mean he really just shot straight through it So I said, okay, maybe I'll just add in here I did want to get to a position size of 20 meaning that if I so that was my total contracts was 20 So I started with 10 here. We'll talk about that when we go over the orders um, I started in 10 here and then I would have wanted to add an additional 10 if we got down to the 150. Uh, we started going back up. So I added in five more right around here. And then as it kept dipping a little bit more, a little bit more, I added in another five once I started feeling like, all right, he's kind of, you know, looks like he's holding up pretty well for the most part here. Uh, let me just get into full size here. Little, I'm not that far off. I kind of told myself, look, you missed it just by, you know, waiting for a perfect entry on the last one. Look what happened. So I kind of talked myself into it a little bit there, if you will. Um, but that, that, that was basically my, my whole entry, if you will. So right around that area, I got into it, 20 contracts. And basically we were trading call options. So as the stock goes up, the value of the calls go up as well. And I had an initial profit target of 153, which it did actually go through. But I'm not gonna lie, I did try to talk myself into staying in it a little bit longer, saying, oh, okay, maybe hold it a little longer before you get out of some, you know, try and hold it for the secondary profit target just in case, because, you know, you got into it a little bit, you know, short of your perfect entry. So, you know, I'm just trying to talk myself into it and all that and once it kind of started dipping down I started to reanalyze it a little bit and I said all right it didn't give me like the exact I call it the twin tower setup that I look at for like short-term reversals um, but it was starting to look familiar to it and I started watching this little doji guy right here and not like I watch every single little candle but I'm just kind of like reading it in like the short term to see how he's looking and I said all right if if he can hold up here we'll be pretty good to keep holding it if not then just kind of let it go because it's probably going to chop around the 152 50 areas what I was thinking anyways if not I figured it would drop it because that 153 is let me zoom out here I mean it is a key level from the previous day as well so there's a reason that was my primary profit target is basically what I was telling myself now at that point is like, all right, dude, just get out of it, wrap it up. It was a good trade for the day. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, it could have been a swing trade as well, but I'm going to be honest. I don't feel too comfortable holding such heavy position size or really anything really overnight right now, given the current circumstances that we're in. Um, I I'm talking about like within the last like week or two in terms of like the banks failing and all this and all that. I just don't want it to have like any overnight effect on the market. And that's usually when things happen is they usually kind of like slap you out of nowhere overnight. 
as you can see here, uh, not saying that that was like primary relate primarily related to that, but just kind of you know speaking thinking out loud here for you guys so you guys can kind of see how there are like a bunch of different things that go into this. So it could be a swing trade, meaning that I may revisit it again depending on how this looks and how the market looks at the time. Uh, you know, like for example, I mean role playing. Let's just say yesterday could have gotten in it right at that similar area, could have closed it out before the end of the day, and then it gave another opportunity again here. So uh, that's kind of like how literally the definition of like playing it by ear is kind of like how I'm treating it in terms of like um, swing trades. So like I'll look at something like oh that specifically is a, a strategy for day trades. And that's how I see it. Some are like, okay, well, that could be a day trade. It could be a swing trade strategy. Or if it could be a swing a swing trade strategy, I might play it, you know, like day by day if it allows me to do so. Um, now, if it was like at a 151, I, I probably would have still held it overnight. I might have downsized a little bit. Again, like I'm saying, just thinking out loud here for you guys to get a little bit of a better idea here because it was a pretty easy trade to do a recap on. So that's kind of why I wanted to just stick myself to it and do it for you guys here. So just to kind of like summarize it, it was about a $2,000 profit. I'll take you guys over to the orders and everything here so you can see it. Basically, I got into, like I said, 10 contracts. Shortly after, I added in five more. And then shortly after that, I added in five more. Uh, it was mainly 230, 250, and 239. We're just going to give the calculation the benefit of the doubt and say that it was just 250 for all of it. So for anybody that's new here now for options, it's a little bit different than it looks. If it looks like $2.50, it's actually $250 for one. So if you had 10, it would have been 2,500. Me having 20, it was 5,000, but that's not the point. We're not here talking about this and talking about what you could do with this. I just really wanted to do the uh, the recap for you guys. I didn't wanna to get too crazy with the numbers, um, but just to break it down in a little bit more of a simpler way for you, what I want you to look at is how I basically went from 250 to 350. And I had 20 contracts and you know that each one, when one is equivalent to 100, so if it went up by a dollar, that means it went up by $100 each. If I had 20 of them, you do 100 times 20, and that's basically where we get the $2,000 profit. Now, the extra little here sprinkled there is basically the difference for these little ones that I had a little bit of a better entry for, uh, but that's really it. Uh, nothing too crazy here. It was, like I said, it was a simple easy trade recap that I felt like I could just do really quickly. But as you guys know me, I'm I'm a rambler. So here I went rambling, making it longer than it needed to be. Um, but that's pretty much it. We got into it in the morning. About three hours later, we closed it out for, I'm oh, sorry, I mean, I can say $2,000 profit, a dollar profit per contract, however you guys want to look at it. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. Looking at it on the charts here, this is right where we got in. This is where I had my first initial entry. And then that's basically where we closed it out. And that's pretty much it. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything here. Um, we did launch a new inner circle for anybody that is interested in either learning how to trade or joining our community or being part of our chat rooms and that we're going to be launching soon. Um, you can get more info through the link in the description or comment down below or email me. You guys know how you can get in touch with me. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment, reach out, and I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will talk to you guys soon.